Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice, and today we're going to talk about prostate cancer and omega-3 or fish oil. Uh, recent news came out that omega-3s or fish oil cause prostate cancer in men. Uh, this information stems from a trial called the SELECT trial, and this was done in the mid-2000s where they uh, proposed that giving either selenium with or without vitamin E would decrease the incidence of prostate cancer. Uh, the people were randomized to take either selenium by itself, vitamin E by itself, selenium and vitamin E, or straight placebo. They stopped the trial early in 2008 when they noticed a slight increase risk of prostate cancer in the men who received vitamin E. It was not statistically significant, meaning it probably was not true, but they went ahead and stopped the trial because there was no benefit of either of those. The men were continued to be followed up through 2011, and there were additional men that developed prostate cancer, and at that point, uh, they redid the numbers, and there was now a statistical significant increased risk of prostate cancer in those that took vitamin E. So according to the SELECT trial, statistically significant, if you take extra vitamin E supplement, you may increase your risk of prostate cancer. Where, vit or where uh, fish oil comes into this is they looked at blood levels of omega-3s, long-chain fatty acids in men who actually had prostate cancer, and they noticed that the men who had a more aggressive version of prostate cancer had higher blood levels of omega-3. They were not supplementing. It was not part of the trial. It was an incidental finding that if you had high-grade prostate cancer, you tended to have higher levels of omega-3 in your blood, and the assumption was that omega-3 3 causes prostate cancer. Uh, the problem with that was is that these men were not supplementing omega-3s. They had a higher blood level. Uh, another problem was is that when you look at the incidence of prostate cancer, uh, blacks tend to have the highest uh, rate of prostate cancer in general. Uh, Caucasians or white have a middle uh, risk of prostate cancer. And the group of people who actually have the overall lowest risk of developing prostate cancers are Japanese, Chinese, Asians, Pacific Islanders, have a significantly lower overall risk of developing prostate cancer, and they actually have the highest, one of the highest fish intakes of any uh, developed society. So you have to ask why a culture that eats a large amount of fish has a diet rich in omega-3s, has a low risk of prostate cancer, how that could cause the prostate cancer. And my guess is, is that quite possibly a rise in blood levels of omega-3 may be a marker of prostate cancer. So not taking omega-3 and having a high blood level, but if your blood level rises, there may be something associated with having prostate cancer that causes that omega-3 level to rise. Uh, if you remember uh, from our talk on fish oil previously, the body has the ability to make both DHA and EPA, so it's conceivable that something about it could cause you to make omega-3. So ALA, the plant-derived fish oil, your body can't make, but the DHA and EPA, your body can make those two fish oils. So my theory is that if you have prostate cancer, if this information is correct, it may something may trigger a rise in your ability to make omega-3 fatty acids. So perhaps in the future, in addition to doing PSA blood tests, we may do omega-3 levels, but absolutely premature now to say that omega-3s cause prostate cancer. So whatever you're doing, keep doing it. If you do have prostate cancer or you are in a fa have a family history of prostate cancer, go ahead and talk to your doctor about this. I probably would not add omega-3 at this point to tell you that it's going to prevent prostate cancer, but uh, in my opinion, there is no statistical link between taking omega-3s and having prostate cancer. Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.